Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Bound Journals. Welcome back to my channel. So excited to share with you my latest Edith Holden journal. This is just one of my favorite themes to make. Book cover journal, three signatures. It got a bit chunky, <laughs> um, but I loving, love, 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 love all this lace. I put so many charms on this journal, more than I usually do, because I, um, well, I put more lace than I usually do as well. I just got on a roll and I couldn't stop myself. And so there's charms hidden everywhere. <laughs> um, it's a bit like hide and seek. Um, but yeah, I hope this is just such a special treasure chest of a journal. There's lots of green and some more reddy, red, reddish tones, orangey, reddish tones. As you can see here with the red on the front, the poppies and the rabbits. This is a woodland themed journal. So I wanted to really highlight the red and the green and the earthy tones. And it's new for me. I haven't really done a woodland journal before because those aren't my colors. I'm more of the cool colors, the blues, the greens, um, the purples rather than the reds, the oranges and the yellows. So it comes with an extra pocket of goodies. There's a whole bunch of things packed into this little pocket. And then I wanted to make it like a book journal. So we've got the front here and then this back piece came from the end papers of the nature notes book. And then I love this like, library card at the back and then there's you know vintage playing card and little uh, leaf so yeah there's so much in this one <laughs> there's a lot so um sit back and relax i hope you enjoy this whip through it might take a while love this little mushroom piece i tried to put a lot of mushrooms in here as well and i love this pocket um so i made it with vellum pocket at the bottom and just wanted to keep the florals there lots of edith holden book pages throughout i tried to include ones with woodland creatures so like rabbits deer sparrows foxes you know all that kind of thing so it's a yeah i tried to go with the woodland theme and yellow tying in with the color scheme try to choose more of those warm colors and yeah it was such a fun journal to make and yeah there's the mushrooms again and this is one of my handmade pockets with some vintage tea cards in there some tags from paper daisy journals in the back Nocturnal, that kind of reminds me of like nocturnal animals. <laughs> so that's why I put that one in there. Um, I don't even know if that has any connection, but that's one of my sewn wallpaper pockets. Beautiful botanical pages. There's a, another wallpaper pocket with a dragonfly red to tie in with the red mushrooms and just lots of pieces here. Um, look at that, just gorgeous. Had to put that one in the Woodland Journal. Lots of bits and pieces in that glassine bag. And then just loving all the lace throughout this journal and all of the charms and envelopes and there's lots of pockets and interactive elements in here for you to play with beautiful lace there gorgeous little pocket there there's a squirrel <laughs> very cute and bees and butterflies in here too and birds and another rabbit it's one of my handmade tags and i put a squirrel stamp on it the collage piece and vintage papers collaged on here as well beautiful Johanna Clough piece from her Etsy like the autumn leaf thought that tied in with the woodland theme charms again everywhere <laughs> dragonfly um, more dragonflies birds just yet yeah, lots of nature lots of animals I really had fun making this journal it's fun to kind of do something a bit different work with a different color scheme work with a different theme and yeah I just kept building up some you know mushroom and woodland creatures there's a fox I thought now's the time I've got enough supplies to be able to make this journal like the red tying in with the birds and oh just so much fun I gathered all the items in a basket there's another squirrel collage tag I really enjoy those tags they're so fun to make I want to make some more of those and these collage journal cards were fun to make as well. And yeah, just lots of fun pieces throughout this journal. Parchment paper, glassine bag that I've embellished. That one says the journey behind there. There's an owl, beautiful middle page. And I did try to track it. So you notice at the front, it said January. And then here, this is from the December chapter with the holly. So it kind of tracks it like January to December. So if you wanted to use it like a yearly journal, you could. Um, but that's just 
one idea can use it in many different ways um, but that's that was my idea with that little detail um, working it from the start of the year to the end and so I arranged the pages in that order type of thing so yeah there's some stickers throughout beautiful scene there beautiful leaves and then there's journaling space here and then that is the back and I just love how it turned out and how everything just tied together and this one is already spoken for my patrons get first preference so they get to see these journals before it goes on my channel and one of my beautiful beautiful patrons snapped this one up and I hope it's an absolute treasure chest for her and yeah will last a long time um, and just yeah hope it gives you so so much joy as always it gives me joy to make them and I just hope it gives you lots of joy as you look at it and use it and fill it up and make it your own <laughs> awesome guys I always say like this is the base I provide the base I provide the inspiration and the foundation but what you fill it up with that's the real treasure so yeah, may you fill up your journals with treasure. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. A big special thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in November. Without you guys, I cannot do what I do. Uh, making these videos and teaching journaling courses, making journals and sharing journaling inspiration. So a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you guys. Um, you are helping the mission of... Uh, Willowbound Journals, which is to bring light and life into people's lives through creativity, beauty, and storytelling and inspiration. So if you would like to become a patron in December, I would be so, so appreciative. I'll leave the link below to that in the description box. And there's also links to my Etsy shop and my Instagram, the Facebook community page, my personal Facebook business page, and also links to my journaling courses. Thank you so much for being here and joining me on this amazing journey. And may you journal your life because your stories matter.